What's up guys? Welcome back to Lolo's and more. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about the uh, hydraulic pumps. As you can see right in front of me, you can see a, a Red's hydraulic pump. This is an original hydraulic pump from the 90s. This came out of uh, one of my homies' car, one of my in my car club. Um, his car was built in the 90s, and he, but he bought this car about a year or two ago. The hydraulic part on the car is kind of on hold right now because he has to get a new motor for it for his Monte Carlo. So, so this is what they pretty much used back in the day in the 90s um, when I took his car apart. It's kind of ridiculous how they did it, you know, old, old school and stuff like that. But this was in there. These still are fully functional. Dumps are still working. But here I'm going to show you a little bit um, on how the pump works. So. Let's see, so in here, in here you got your gear. Um, in another video, I'll show you how a gear looks like. But in here, you got your gear. This is where you put oil in. Uh, when you fill up your oil in your tank, usually um, uh, you don't want to fill it up all the way. Some people do, but I don't really recommend that because you don't need all that much oil in here, to be honest. Um, as long as you can uh, stick your finger in till your uh, first knuckle on your finger, then you're good. As long as you can fill the oil in there, it doesn't need to be 100% full. Here is your uh, block. As you can see, since this it is built in the 90s, you can see that it says press right there. Press for pressure. Pretty much that's your out. And then on the other side, your return is where the oil returns back in to the pump. Back here, you got your motor, your 20 volt, 12 or 20 volt motor. I forget sometimes, but um, hook it up to your battery. So you hit the switch up. This this would hook up to your uh, pretty much your solenoid, to your last solenoid. And um, when you hit the up switch, it spins the motor. There's a key in the middle, in the in the block, that you that connects your motor to your uh, gear head that's inside here. When when that spins, spins a gear, shoots the oil up, goes through the T fitting, passes your uh, check valve, check valve here, check valve here. The check valve uh, prevents the oil from coming back in to the pump after you shoot it out to the cylinder. Uh, once you shoot it out, it comes out through the other side of it goes through the dump and out here into this fitting. It can be a straight fitting or it doesn't matter what kind of fitting you use, but it goes from this fitting and out to your front cylinder into a hose into a cylinder. Now when you hit the down switch, you'll, uh, so these dumps right here, these these dumps are self grounding dumps. Those are well known on these reds pumps. So here would go your switch down wire. When you hit your switch down wire, this opens up the valve here, closes, opens up this valve, and shoves oil back through this hose or the return hose into your T fitting and into your slow down valve. Slow down valve is pretty much you can use. Uh, it's a fitting that helps you, well, if you want to. Depending, uh, you can set your speed on how fast you want it to go down. So that's what it is. But if you go to your local hydraulic store, um, if you say slow down valve, they're gonna look at you with a dumb face. But this is uh, technically called a needle, needle valve. So, but yeah, this right here, you can control how fast or how slow you want your uh, oil to come back and how fast you want your car to drop. From there, back into the block and into your tank where all the oil is stored at. So that's pretty much how that works. So as you can tell, as you can see, this is a two dump setup. Now, this, if you were to have two of these, this is good. Um, if you had two of these same pumps with the same assemblies, these are good pumps for uh, doing uh, front to back, side to side corners and stuff like that um pancake to whatever so the same um so th that's what these are good for in another video i will show you guys um on different ways of 
do when you're plumbing on your pump if you're going to do a single dump to a one pump and stuff like that there's a couple different ways if you were just to do it from uh, if you were just to have one dump per pump so there it goes for that um on your newer blocks um i don't have my low rider here with me but on your newer blocks you're gonna see a uh a little air valve here like where this is but in those, on these ones they don't need air but when you put your pump in sometimes it'll say engraved 30 psi pretty much put in 30 psi of air in your tank some people say no don't put air in your tank because then, so, then you're gonna put air in your uh, hoses that run out to your cylinders true but I used to own um, some CCE competition pumps and I would put 30 PSI and I never had a problem. I didn't have to bleed my cylinders, never had a problem with it going up and down. Uh, so I put 30 PSI, some people say don't. It's all up to you what you want to want to do, but I did. Since it's old school block, there's no need for extra air pressure to be in there. Um, on the new blocks, it'll say out instead of pressure press for pressure for going out to the cylinders and then it'll also say return on a new style blocks on blocks uh, you can get them different sizes um, the bigger the block some people say better because it's a bigger ports the block stays cooler if it's bigger because it's aluminum aluminum stays pretty cool um, so you can get bigger blocks if you want to for bigger ports if you want to you know if you want to hop street hopper or just straight up hop um stuff like that you know, they go with bigger blocks bigger ports bigger fittings and stuff like that when putting together your your pump doing the plumbing make sure you use quite a bit of good amount of teflon tape on on your threadings all throughout here all throughout your fittings everywhere because I do recommend you too much is never enough I should say but if you don't want to have any leaks that's the best way to go um, so these are old school dumps um, I couldn't really tell you what exactly dump it is if it's an Italian or if it's a Delta I'm not sure they're old school they're from the 90s but usually you see dumps that look just like this that look like Deltas or Italian dumps I, I like Italian dumps but I don't mess with that anymore. Um, I got a three pump set up in my truck. I'm gonna try and hop. I got a piston to the front, high low piston. Um, and then I got two d pumps to the back with single dumps. So, but in another video, like I said earlier, in another video, I will show you different ways to do plumbing for one dump on a block, on a pump setup. One thing I do recommend though on motors is uh, when you get new motors, sometimes they come with this cap. It's like completely solid, there's no vents. I do recommend you have vents on motors. Because some people say, no, I'm not going to hop my, you know, hop my low rider. I'm just going to lay and play and cruise and stuff like that. Just, you know, hit the switch up and down, but not hop it. Going down the street, you're going to want to hop. You're going to get that urge. Everybody gets that urge, so don't lie that you're not going to hop it. You're going to get that urge. So I recommend when you get new motors, buy caps to have vents on them. Best way to go. The vents help the motor breathe so it doesn't catch fire or it doesn't pretty much smoke up and go bad. Vents are good. These are not so great. Some people do like them for some reason, but that's because they actually don't hop it at all. So, um, I recommend just, just get vents, caps with the vents, trust me, you'll save yourself money. So, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, in another video, I will show you different ways to do plumbing, but, um, I don't think I'm going to have a pump to work on next time. So I'll probably just show you on a drying board or dry erase board. So keys here. Um, always making sure that these are put in correctly, the check valves in the dry, correct direction. If they're not, then you're gonna uh, hurt your pump, your gearhead, or you might even just break your your spline key. The, 
the thing that holds the connects together your motor and the gear that's inside here make sure these are always in in the correct way the solid on valve there's no correct way you can put them in either you know it doesn't matter which way they really go so they make different sizes of these so it's pretty cool on how slowdowns work but that's it for today we'll see you guys later don't forget to subscribe and like the video peace